thank you for watching this video. Well, that was easy. Saying thank you is not that hard, is it? How much more difficult can it be to write it down? How hard can it be to put the thank you message on a note or a card and give it to another person? Well, it turns out that it's easy for some, but difficult for others. In Poland, I first came across the idea of a kudo box. And later I've seen the same practice elsewhere in the world as well. With this practice, the employees in an organization are asked to write a personal thank you message for their peers. Kudo cards are simple cards that play the role of a physical token of appreciation. The cards can be placed in a box and every now and then the kudo box is emptied and the workers celebrate those who had received the card. Maybe once per day or once per week, the implementations vary across organizations. At some companies, those who receive the compliment from a colleague can choose a little present, such as dinner for two, a movie ticket, box of chocolates. At other companies, there is a draw of the kudo cards and the winner gets a slightly bigger prize. And I've heard of businesses where instead of little presents, the employees simply bask in the glory of their fellow workers' appreciation, but no extrinsic rewards are handed out. The details differ, but the principle is always the same. Get people to say thank you in a way that has meaning for both the sender and the receiver of the compliment. Many times I have heard the suggestion from successful entrepreneurs that you should write one thank you note per day by hand. Many times I've read that giving something to another person not only generates happiness for the receiver, but even more so for the giver. The science of positive psychology confirms that positive minds are more productive and more successful than neutral and negative minds. And systems thinkers and complexity researchers know all about reinforcing feedback loops. You often get more of what you focus on. Therefore, Focus on the positive, not the negative. In other words, it all makes sense. But how? How do we get creative workers to be thankful to each other? Everyone is always so busy, busy, busy. No time for reflection, no time for appreciation. Well, here's what works for me. I have a daily recurring task in my task list that says, say thank you. I consider it part of my regular work. And every day I am confronted with it. I admit I'm not always able to think of someone who should get a card, but at least I take a moment to think about it. And that's what you can do as well. Lead by example. To get other people to write kudo cards, it helps to make the practice as visible as possible. Make sure there's no way for people to ignore the box or the cards. I've heard of companies placing the box strategically near the coffee machine. Others have decided to make a kudo wall in a central corridor where everyone sees the cards several times a day when they pass by. And of course, offering little presents may help to get people to adopt the practice. The extrinsic motivation is probably small enough not to hurt anyone's performance, but it may be large enough to grow a culture of appreciation and positivity. I recently had a workshop in Australia where one of the attendees said she still kept the kudo card that she had received in one of my previous workshops two years earlier. It was just a simple thank you note, but she kept it for years. That's what a simple thank you can do. So go ahead, write the kudo card now, make someone happy and make yourself a bit happier too. Oh, and thank you for watching this video all through the end. I really appreciate that. So what we did is to just a, a, a gratitude, right? Uh, what was uh, positive and that already had a very good effect. Mm -hmm. And uh, so make it public uh, by opening a box during the retrospective meetings. Yeah. Uh, so we had teams that had the retrospectives every well, two weeks, uh, every three or four weeks, and they'd open a box at that moment. And we'd hand out uh, the the uh, paper, so each one in a team would grab the paper and uh, sort of publicly, well, so they say during the meeting uh, what was written, from who it was from, to who it was uh, being sent, 
So we made it public that way.